My name is Siobhan Keegan and I am the Lady Chief Justice of Northern Ireland. I came from a family that was not a legal family, so my parents had a grocery store in a town in Northern Ireland. I worked in that store, I think I'll use, uh, that would be a phrase used loosely by my mother and father and my brother. Um, but it was quite an education to start with and then I went through the education system in Northern Ireland until I decided to study law. I think by a process of elimination I was good at the art subjects at school and my careers teacher said why not try it so I did and I'm, I'm glad I did. I went to Queen's University Belfast and then was called to the Bar of Northern Ireland in 1994. Um, practiced as a barrister, a junior barrister for 12 years and then a silk. And then I became a judge of the High Court in 2015. And six years later, I became the Lady Chief Justice. So that's a bit of a whistle stop tour of my background and career, I think. <music> So it was exactly um, two years ago on the 2nd of September 2021. That was just really as we were gradually coming out of the COVID pandemic. So um, I've had a, a two year period now of getting used to all of the intricacies and pressures of the job. <laughs> I think it was a choice that came to me as a result of liking public speaking, debating, that type of thing. Was I inspired by anybody in particular? I'm actually not sure I was. There weren't an, I didn't have a great consciousness of people in law or women in law to inspire me. I think if truth be told, the people who inspired me were the quiet heroes around me my mother and father and my aunt who had studied mathematics in the 1950s in Dublin and went on to be a school principal and these were not um, people with loudspeakers about their achievements let me tell you but I think they gave me the confidence to think I could do this so by way of inspiration it's the quiet people at home that really got me to where I am. I think I enjoy two aspects of it. Firstly, being able to hear and decide on the biggest cases in Northern Ireland with really interesting, intricate, challenging legal points. And secondly, meeting lots of different people I don't think I would have met in different jurisdictions, at conferences like this one, um, meeting young people in schools and at university. I really enjoy that outreach element of the job, which I think is actually really important and hopefully is a mutual benefit. So I can go out and explain what I do and I get an awful lot from particularly the young people who tell me where they are on their career paths and what they want to do. <music> The most challenging aspect I think is that it's non-stop, that I leave down one issue and another one arises, so there's never a gap. Um, and that's because there's a high level of administration with the job and also I have to manage the entire judiciary in Northern Ireland. So that's a pressure and that's something that can invade you as a person 24 hours. Um, so it's quite hard to wind down, relax. <laughs> interesting in any of the discussions that we have how the current legal issues transcend borders. They're across the different jurisdictions, but you can learn so much from other uh, judges, chief justices, lawyers about how you do things and bring your experience as well to bear. And there are lots of issues on a very broad scale affecting the world in terms of the rule of law, for instance that these conferences can highlight. So I think, I think that's why they're so important.
Well, Open Justice today is timely um, for a number of reasons, I think. Firstly, law has to be accessible for those it affects. So that's obviously um, the lawyers involved who want to know how they've gone um, right or wrong in arguing cases, but the public, the people affected by law. So Open Justice allows that to happen. It allows law to be transparent it allows law to be explicable and we have to maintain an eye on how we deliver open justice I think on an ongoing basis. It used to be uh, law reports were um, handed out, now we have summaries of judgments, we have some limited broadcasting of sentencing remarks in England and Wales, we have broadcasting of the Supreme Court so people can understand what cases are about, because I think if they do, they can understand what the reasoning of decisions is. So it is really important. Law shouldn't be a closed shop. Um, it shouldn't be uh, rarefied. It should be accessible to all. And open justice achieves that. It, I, I also think law needs to be simplified. Um, and I think with open justice and with better communication, judges can really drill down and think about how the message of a case or a decision is communicated. That, that's key in my view. Ultimately, the rule of law is that the decision is made by the court um, and nothing else, and it is on the basis of law and nothing else. I think it's probably used a lot um, without true understanding of what it is. I think it's more um, substantive than people think. Um, it's not simply a, a tick box that the law has been applied. It's substantively that the law has been observed uh, to reach a fair, just outcome. I think the most valuable piece of advice was to be your own person and make your own decision and um, stand by it and not worry too much. But I have to say I don't think I've taken my own advice on the worry bit um, because I think it is if you're doing the job properly um, you do worry about decisions that you make. They are very important decisions for people and you're conscientious about them. Well, it's simply to reflect the society in which we live in. There is no doubt of that, I think. So we have a society that is made up of different um, types of people and I think the judiciary should be reflective of that. It gives the law that imprimatur and legitimacy that it can reflect society. So it is important. Um, you can't just have a judiciary made up of one section of society because then the other section doesn't feel represented. And I think that optic is really, really important. And I think that different people within society, different um, uh, aspects of society need to be represented in the judiciary just as it, they need to be represented in anything else. Well, I think the question is why not? Um, if you're a woman in, a pro in professional life, be it law or anything else, you should be able to achieve the highest echelons in your career. Um, so there shouldn't be a, a glass ceiling or a boundary. There isn't an archetypal um, model of what a judge should be. It can be a man, it can be a woman. It can be um, a person from a varying different social background and um, everybody should have the opportunity. The ultimate aim here is to really embed equality, which is equality of opportunity. So I called uh, 17 new young barristers to the bar of Northern Ireland last week and I said to them in 30 years, one of you could be Lord or Lady Chief Justice, no pressure. And I, I did mean it. So it's open to all. If you work hard, you can achieve. 
be yourself, work hard. And I think there's now more of a critical mass of women in higher positions that can support you. Um, that, that, that's really important and it's part of the diversity issue, but I think you've got to think about inclusion as um, a complementary aspect of diversity. So you, you want to feel comfortable and included in the legal profession and there's no reason why you can't, you can't be. So I think joining associations, going to conferences, taking up mentoring um, is healthy and um, being part of what I think is an exciting time, not just for women, but, from pe but for people from all different backgrounds to enter the profession because we are now properly talking and addressing what might have been the impediments in the past and that, to my mind, is really positive. That's a really good thing. I think it's great. Um, I am really delighted that this has happened. Um, it's clearly a reflection of the fact that there are very capable senior women who can aspire to this role and achieve this role. And I personally wish Dame Sue Carr all the best in the role. I'm sure she will excel in it. Thank you.